Hey guys, it's Paul House of No Gimmicks and in this video I'm showing you how to tune a vocal track with Melodyne. And if you're new to this channel, it's all about mixing, mastering and producing music, especially in the Caribbean Afro music genres. So if you're interested in topics like this, hit subscribe. Okay, so in the last week I showed you how to treat a vocal sound with an autotune effect. Okay, and this week I'm showing you how to use Melodyne to um, do a little more subtle pitch correction to a vocal. And also, if you're after this uh, more drastic uh, autotune sound, then this is also uh, helpful for you. Because I find that um, applying autotune after you use uh, Melodyne, um, you will get a more smoother sound overall. Because autotune now has it pretty easy to detect the right vocal pitch, because Melodyne already did it to perfection, okay? So um, let's hear again what we have here, um, those autotune vocals. Whole heap of red, coal and grain, whole heap of high grade, chalice of steam, sure, love is all I bring, but if you lean when I let you in. Okay, great part uh, from Terrace Riley, taken from the um, Rasta Party remix song. And now um, let's um, duplicate this track and um, delete autotune so that we can compare it afterwards. Uh, mute this autotune track and just uh, load in uh, Melodyne now. And what's great about Studio One here that it's already uh, equipped with uh, a native Melodyne version. Okay, now uh, the vocals are getting detected. And let's zoom in here. Oops. Okay, here we go. Whole heap of red, coal and grain, whole heap of high grade, chalice of steam, sure, love is all I bring, but if you lean when I let you in. So you can see all those individual notes that Autotune detected. And also a very nice feature is the detection of the key that you have to find out manually with Autotune. And if I'm highlighting all those parts here, and then go to the grid mode, you can see it says snap to D major here. So it has already detected that uh, the song is in D major. If you click this here, all notes would snap to uh, D major. By moving this knob here, you can uh, determine how much uh, the pitch correction should be done. And the pitch drift, which means uh, the pitch drift between the notes. Okay, let's leave it to uh, zero now and let's see if um, Melodyne has already done a good job with placing all those individual notes uh, to the right pitch. Let's hear it. Okay, something wrong here. Whole heap of red, coal and grain, whole heap of high grade, chalice of steam, sure, love is all I bring. But if you not sure about this one. Chalice of steam, sure, love is all I bring. But if you lean when I let you in. Okay. Whole heap of red. Whole heap of red, coal and... Oh, sounds better. Whole heap of red, coal and grain. Whole heap of high grade, chalice of steam, sure, love is all I bring. But if you lean when I let you in. Okay, not too bad, right? This is a pretty quick fix, but you can also uh, drag the notes around manually, as I did before, if you put this to zero again, or you could choose something in between if you uh, would like to have a more subtle uh, approach. But let's uh, put this to 100 again here. And if you were to have a more computerized effect, you want to tame those uh, pitch drift. So that um, it stays right in the middle of the note. But for this specific vocal by Terrace Riley, I'm not after a computerized effect. So let's see if we have uh, the right um, Melodyne vocal here. Whole heap of red, coal and grain, whole heap of high grade, chalice of steam, sure, love is all I bring. But if you lean when I let you in. So a quick tip for Melodyne users, um, if Melodyne didn't detect the key of the song correctly, you could also determine the key manually by clicking up here 
you can see uh, in this box here it says D major but if you click here on another key you can uh, determine this specific key as the key the main key of the song so um, if you find that Melodyne didn't detect the key right you can do it here manually okay so let's not dive too deep into Melodyne because it's got so many uh, options what you can do with this program I just showed you a more basic approach to it uh, but um, as I told you uh, last week, now let's uh, turn on autotune once again and see if it gets us a more smoother sound than uh, without Melodyne beforehand, okay? So let's um, use autotune once again. Let's set it to D major real quickly once again. We have auto tenor. And let's apply the most drastic settings here, okay? See how it sounds. Well, deep a red, gold and green. Well, deep a high grade, chalice a steam. Cha, love is all I bring. But if you lean when I let you in. Okay, now let's uh, copy those autotune settings to another track without Melodyne. And let's see if we can spot a difference, okay? Okay, first of all, the version without uh, Melodyne. Before autotune. Holy pa red, gold and green. Holy pa high grade, chalice a steam. Sha, love is all I bring. But if you lean when I let you in. Now with. Holy pa red, gold and green. Holy pa high grade, chalice a steam. Sha, love is all I bring. But if you lean when I let you in. Okay, to my taste, it sounds a lot smoother here. And I think uh, Autotune doesn't have a hard time detecting the right pitch because uh, Melodyne already did it beforehand. So if you're looking um, for a more smoother uh, Autotune sound, doesn't matter if you love the more drastic sound or not, um, give it a try and see if you can come up with a better sound than without uh, Melodyne beforehand, okay? Okay, I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you already tried it out or if you have any other ideas to get a vocal sound sound smooth with autotune and Melodyne. And also let me know what you'd like to see next as a video. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.